Did you know that the human heart is the organ that generates the strongest electromagnetic field of any organ of the human body? It produces an electromagnetic field 5,000 times as powerful as that produced by your brain. Furthermore, this energy field changes in relation to your emotions. One thing you should know about electromagnetic field is that every organ and cell in your body generate an energy field. Since the heart generates the strongest electromagnetic field, the information stored in its electromagnetic field affects every organ and cell in your body. Could this be why the heart is the first organ developed in a baby inside their mother's womb? The heart beats before the brain is even developed. And it is the last of the organs to stop when a person dies. Besides generating the strongest electromagnetic field, the heart has an intelligence of its own, which is why many neurocardiologists refer to it as the heart brain or the fifth brain. Because your heart also contains thousands of specialized neurons, predominantly located around the right ventricle surface, forming a complex network. Why did nature put them there? Neurons are what allow your brain to form thoughts. So what are they doing around the right ventricle of your heart? The nervous system of the heart contains roughly 40,000 neurons or sensory neurites. One of its roles is to monitor the heart's hormones, neurochemicals, heart rate, and pressure information. The information of how these chemicals behave is also sent to the brain. The heart and brain are always communicating through the vagus nerve system and the electromagnetic field of the body. It is through this dynamic communication process that the consciousness of the heart can change how the brain process information. This process can also affect how energy flows in the body. These findings indicate that the heart works with the brain and body, including the amygdala, to process emotions and incorporate emotional memories. The amygdala is the part of the brain that assists us in making decisions about incoming information and processing them based on our past experiences. This shows a link between the emotions and feelings and the actual brain and body physiology. Other mental attitudes and stress also affect the body and our overall health, and these issues can be linked to the heart as well. The ancient Egyptians saw the heart as an organ of truth. And indeed, your heart does seem to be able to tell you the truth about how you feel and what you think is right or wrong. For example, when you lie, your heart rate tends to speed up. In ancient Greece, Aristotle wrote at length on the heart, asserting, The heart is the perfection of the whole organism. Therefore, the principles of the power of perception and the soul's ability to nourish itself must lie in the heart. Leonardo da Vinci discovered how the blood flowed through the heart and how the swirling vortexes within the heart's chambers worked with the heart, opening and closing the valves with each heartbeat. A far cry from the mechanistic view of the heart as a simple single-stroke pump. Da Vinci's drawings and experiments reveal a harmonic beauty, as much a piece of art as a machine. The heart, which represents our capacity to feel, is an access point to a source of wisdom and intelligence that the mind just cannot compete with. The heart, which only opens when we are vulnerable to our feelings, is important for increasing personal effectiveness, improving health and relationships, and achieving greater fulfillment. The heart helps us to understand the world through feelings. It allows us to understand our reality in a universal kind of way giving us universal characteristics. This biological electromagnetic field generator allows us to understand each other at the emotional level and beyond, giving us a sense of connection to all things. This emotional connection is what creates bonding between individuals. For these reasons, the human heart holds the key to uniting humanity. When we learn how to think with our heart, it becomes easier for us to understand others, and thus achieving world peace will be a lot easier.